The brightness of this day has given me the opportunity to bring you this video. Welcome back to my channel, Winging It with AC. My name is AC. So, you know that on this channel, we do everything motherhood, um, lifestyle, everything someday inside, but um, really, really geared towards motherhood. However, I received a video request from a special group of students from the University of Ghana, the linguistics class, link 603, theory of syntax class, one of the classes my dad was teaching um, last semester. And I got a video request from them to um, talk about how to manage stress as a student and i am here finally to bring you this video so i do have my points written down and so i'm going to share that um with you by if you see me looking down that's what i'm looking at and i am sharing these are actually my personal um points my personal tips on how to manage stress as a student because i am looking back i reflected back especially when i was doing my um my master's degree and um those are some of the things that i did that helped me and i have decided to share them here and of course reflecting back on my undergrad degree as well so the first thing to do is to manage your time wisely now if you don't manage your time well you will be super stressed now i'll say that in terms of managing your time create a steady schedule okay so for instance um a lot of the examples i'm going to give are going to be back from when i was doing my masters so i had a schedule for doing my homework every time you go to class you will be given homework i mean Ghanaians we call it assignments in the u.s homework so you'll be given homework to do one of the things I always did was that immediately I get back from class and I finish eating, I do the homework. I don't want to forget anything, especially when I took an accounting class. I didn't want to forget. It's fresh in my brain, so let me do it there and then. So every time I got back from, from class, the first thing I would do is to do the homework, even though it's due the next week at class or maybe before class. I get it done that very night and I get it out of the way then i can focus on other things that i need to do whether it's research work or anything and then so that was one of the schedules i had another schedule i had when it came to my time and when it came to studying was i made sure that if i had long-term projects so for instance in my first semester i was given we're given a paper it was at the beginning of the semester when it was given to us and we were told it would be due school started in was it august or so it will be due sometime as a middle of November, end of November. So you had time to get it done. I started at like a few weeks after it had been given to us. I know that majority of people would wait the nights before it is due, two nights before it is due. Then they are spending their entire time on the paper and then they are stressed and mm -mm. I started working on it it was like literature review so i started working on it bit by bit every week i would get some of it done i'll get some of it done so by the time it's almost due the paper was almost due i was like i had finished like 70 percent or 75 percent of it so i wasn't as stressed as some of my course mates who were they hadn't done anything so plan ahead and don't do those last minute things especially when you've been given a lot of time to get an assignment done so plan your the use of your time wisely whenever you go to the library there are times i would go to the library and spend the entire day in the library that was not me before then masters humbled me um but yeah you get my drift now my to my second point find study techniques that will help you so if you're the kind of person that when you study it sticks better when you write down notes in the way you understood them i am that kind of person so that's how i used to study so when i finish reading maybe like a page or two then i'll sit i'll close a book and then try and remember what i understood by what i read you know or if it's if it's a point-based thing like five characteristics of dry wine or I'm using wine because I took a wine class. 
so when it's those kind of things where they are factual things not the sociology kind of learning then i close my book then i try to remember the points or the characteristics of something and then write them down and if you're that kind of person you can try that or if you're the kind of person where group um discussions really work well for you when you discuss things as a group it helps you remember it better then you should try and form look at forming a a, a study group with your course mates so that you meet regularly and discuss what you've studied and then that would also help you so there are so many other techniques that you can um try give them a try and see which ones work best for you so that you use that so that you don't it's cut down on the stress that you're already um going through because of school number three physical activity i used to go to the gym um when it entered me <laughs> but there was a time period where i was going to the gym i think three times a week so after my class in the evenings then like i already had everything in my bag that i'll just walk down to the gym and then either swim or join an exercise class it's a time for you to not think about school it's a time for you to not think about the assignments that you have or anything just go and just exercise good for your health good for your body good for your mind so by the time you get back home you've released some stress from the exercise and swimming is relaxing like i like swimming you know i feel like it's the easiest form of exercise you know like i enjoy being in the water so find a sport that you enjoy i know that on campus a lot of the guys play basketball volleyball the guys play football so whatever you um enjoy doing when it comes to a sport you can also take that up to release stress after you've been studying for a whole day or after you've been in lectures the whole day whatever it is just find times and fit that into your schedule like we talked about earlier on now my next point is support group make sure you have a support group it could be your parents my parents were very supportive um your siblings or if you have like a close knit of friends a close What's the word? Close knit of friends. Close, close knit group of friends. I think close knit <laughs> group of. The point is, you get my drift. Okay, you get my drift. So having a support system helps, and some of sometimes these support systems help in the fact that you can go and hang out with them. So I had um, being in the state and where I was, there was like a I had a few Ghanaian friends. So then sometimes we would hang out together and um and do things and then there were some that i could rely on when i am feeling stressed about school or how to get about something so you know that you have one or two friends that you can call and just pour your emotions out on because maybe you're feeling stressed about a paper you're supposed to be um presenting or you have a presentation you need to do and you want to present it before the actual day then you have those friends that you present it before them or you want one of them to review like there are so many ways that these people can provide the support that you need to help relieve you of your stress. So that a support system in this life, no matter your stage in life, is very essential. Very, very essential. And now this brings me to my very last point. Self-care. Nowadays, everybody has been throwing this word around. Self-care, 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 self-care self-care okay now find something that you like doing and then use that to distress once again i'll give an example i had a bible study group i used to join we used to meet on friday evenings so that was like a an international women's bible study group so i knew that friday evenings unless it was pertinent you will not find me in the library if you find me in the library on friday then it means it's after the Bible study meeting. So I think that it's very important for um, you not to, especially if you're a Christian, don't push aside um, Christian things or like the, your service in, in, in church because of um, school. I know school can get very hectic, but even when I was in undergrad, I was in the choir when I was in undergrad. And I remember that every time that exam period was around the corner or it was exam period a lot of the students did not used to show up for um choir practice and i decided that i wasn't going to do that because i was like you've been studying all day use choir practice as a time to take a break because when you're studying you need to take a break whether it's a 30 minute break a 20 minute break a one hour break you need to take a break 
So build that into your schedule such that you actually take a break. And if it is choir practice that you used to take a break, if it is Bible study you used to take a break, use that to take a break from your studying. So that you come back, maybe you rest a little, then you continue studying or working on whatever paper that you are working on. But don't uh, shrink back from church activities because of school. Maybe if you're already involved in so many, maybe you're already in Sunday school, you're in choir, you're in jar ministry, you're in this. You can scale back from all but one so that you are still connected in church. And then, I mean, you're still serving God because, I mean, it's the same God you're praying to that he should help you pass your exam. Anyway, you know, you get my drift. Uh -huh. Find um, hobbies that you love. It was when I was living alone doing my master's that I came to realize that I love cooking. Yes, it can be tiring, but I enjoyed it. So you would find me spending my whole day, my whole Saturday in the library from like 8 to 6 p.m. or 5 p.m. Then I would come home and spend another four or five hours cooking. By the time I'm done cooking, it's like 10 p.m., 11 p.m. But it was just a way for me to distress. I enjoyed it. So I would be playing loud music and then, or maybe I would be on the phone with a friend and we'll be on the phone like 45 minutes, one hour while I am cooking my meals for the week. I actually enjoyed doing that. Sometimes I would hang out with some friends. We would go out, we would go bowling, or we would just go and sit somewhere and chat and talk. Make time to distress. So self-care, those of you like going to do money petty things, going to the mall to window shop, go and watch a movie, self-care. If it is even your own personal movie night you do in your room. There are times I used to do that. Like I'll just go and buy junk food, a lot of chocolate and ice cream and popcorn and coke and then i have my series lined up or i have some movies lined up and then maybe like friday night is my movie night so then i'll just spend the night watching movies and eating all of that junk food and whatnot so um and it helps you know so just take your mind off schoolwork and school and all your assignments and whatnot all of these will surely help you these are tips that i used to manage my stress as a student and i decided that if you're asking for it i'm going to share it with you and i do hope that it helps and if it does help please find a way of letting me know that you tried this and this and that and it did work thank you so much for watching this video and i will see you in my next video bye